Supercell Tornado You're driving home when the sky gets dark and a giant rotating column comes down from the clouds. This strange thing you're seeing is a supercell tornado, the most powerful and destructive tornado type on Earth. These monsters form from supercell thunderstorms, which are rotating storms with a persistent updraft called a mesocyclone. Supercell tornadoes range from level 0 to 5 on the enhanced Fujita scale. An EF0 might damage roof shingles and break tree branches, while an EF5 creates absolute devastation with winds exceeding 200 miles per hour, flattening well-built homes to foundations and throwing cars hundreds of yards like toys. Multiple Vortex Tornado Imagine looking at what appears to be a single tornado, but as it gets closer, you realize it's actually several smaller tornadoes rotating around a common center. These tornadoes contain two or more sub-vortices spinning around the main circulation. Each sub-vortex has its own rotation, creating localized areas of extreme damage within the larger tornado's path. The sub-vortices can have wind speeds significantly higher than the parent tornado's overall circulation. While the main tornado might be rated EF3, individual sub-vortices could reach EF4 or EF5 intensity. Satellite Tornado You've positioned yourself to photograph a massive tornado dominating the landscape, and suddenly, you notice a smaller one orbiting around it like a moon around a planet. It's called a satellite tornado, and it is a separate, independent funnel that orbits around the main tornado, while the previous one has small sub-vortices spinning inside a single main funnel. Water Spout Following the idea that the best boat is someone else's, you've set out on a nice weekend ocean adventure. But then suddenly, a funnel descends from a dark cloud overhead and touches the water's surface. Water spouts have the same structure, origin, and power as land-based cousins. If they move from water to land, they simply become tornadoes without losing intensity. The problem is that these water spouts' wind speeds can exceed 100 miles per hour and can also be accompanied by lightning and hail. Landspout A narrow rope-like funnel can suddenly form and descend from a towering cumulus cloud without any warning sirens or severe thunderstorm conditions. What you're seeing is actually a type of tornado that forms very differently from the tornado types I mentioned earlier. Unlike supercell tornadoes that descend from the cloud, land spouts strangely build upward from the surface. They form quickly, often in a couple of minutes. Their tendency to strike by surprise makes them hazardous, despite their typically weak to moderate intensity. Cold air funnels, as the name suggests, form in cold, unstable air masses behind cold fronts. These weak tornadoes rarely touch the ground. What makes them notable is their frequency and benign nature. They can appear in groups, with multiple funnels visible simultaneously across a region. Most never reach the surface, remaining as harmless tubes of rotating air dangling from clouds. Rope Tornado The rope tornado represents the dissipating stage of a tornado's life cycle. I think its slender appearance is more terrifying than the others. The narrow funnel may intensify momentarily during the dissipation process as angular momentum is conserved in the shrinking vortex, similar to how ice skaters spin faster when pulling their arms inward. Therefore, despite its weak and fragile appearance, this one remains dangerous until completely dissipated. Winter Tornado these tornadoes form during cold months, typically from November through February, when unusual atmospheric setups create severe weather during winter. Cold season tornadoes tend to be weaker than their warm season counterparts. However, they're particularly dangerous because people don't expect tornadoes during winter months and may not respond to warnings appropriately. Dust Devil Dust devils look like miniature tornadoes, but form through completely different mechanisms. These spinning columns of dust and debris develop on hot days when intense surface heating creates rising air that begins rotating. Most dust devils are harmless. They last only a few minutes and cause no damage beyond kicking up dust. When you see one, just don't do what some people attempt. Fire Whirl These are made entirely of flames spiraling hundreds of feet into the air. Fire tornadoes, or fire whirls, form when intense heat from wildfires creates powerful updrafts that begin rotating. The spinning vortex pulls flames and hot gases into a terrifying column of fire. They aren't true tornadoes because they're driven by heat rather than atmospheric dynamics. 
Steam Devil Steam devils form when extremely cold air passes over warm water, creating rotating columns of steam and mist. These vortices show up over lakes, rivers, and industrial cooling ponds during winter when temperature differentials reach around 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The mechanism resembles that of dust devils, but here, the heat source is the water. Warm water heats the cold air passing over it, and as this warmed air rises and begins to rotate, it pulls steam and fog into a visible vortex. Steam devils are generally harmless, with weak rotation and no destructive winds. Snow Devil These phenomena share characteristics with steam and dust devils, but require specific winter weather conditions. They last only minutes and dissipate as quickly as they form. Shear Funnel Shear funnels are rotating columns that form under developing clouds but never reach the ground. Although visually similar to cold air funnels, they actually have specific differences. A shear funnel forms under a storm due to wind shear and almost never reaches the ground. While not dangerous themselves, shear funnels indicate conditions favorable for the development of actual tornadoes. While a cold air funnel forms in cold core systems and can occasionally touch down as a weak tornado, Gusnado. A gusnado is a short-lived, low-level whirl that develops along the leading edge of a thunderstorm's downburst. Meteorologists debate whether it even qualifies as a true tornado. Although they may seem harmless and cluelessly wandering around, sometimes gusnados pose real dangers. They appear suddenly with no warning, catching people off guard, and they can even flip vehicles. The key distinction is that gusnados don't connect to the cloud base above. The brief nature and lack of cloud connection make them nearly impossible to predict or warn about effectively. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.